Hi guys, um, I just got done with a webinar with the College Board, so I wanted to give you the information that I got as soon as possible. Um, it's going to be a little bit all over the place because that's how the webinar was, so I'm just reading off my notes. The first thing is that, um, like I said, every Thursday we're going to practice an FRQ or two. These FRQs, supposedly that are being released this week, are going to be ones that are going to mirror the test, so it'll be great practice. Make sure you take them seriously. You're not going to need the lockdown browser to take them. So if you're doing practice tests in other classes and they've required the lockdown browser, you don't need it for my class. Um, if you're having problems with your internet, if you're having problems with your computer, there's a form you can fill out at the College Board. They've got technology set aside and money set aside to help you. They don't want that to be the reason why you don't do well on your exams. Um, so you may have seen on the Google Classroom, I said that there's going to be no reading of graphs and no calculations. I would probably still on my desk on the day of the test have a calculator. And I know a lot of you, when we would have tests in class, didn't have calculators. Get a cheap, basic, dollar store calculator. Um, I guess you could also have your phone that you could use as a calculator too because you're going to be able to have your phone there as well. Um, on the 28th, I'm getting more information, including your instructions on how to get online. That being said, I'll find out this week, those of you who were not being able to be contacted by the College Board. So supposedly the College Board sent out an email and asked you to respond, and I'll get a list of those that didn't respond this week. If you didn't get that email, make sure you check your school email. And if you didn't get it in your school email, please make sure that you check your College Board account. My daughter said that the email just directed you to the College Board. So you can go in and check that. Make sure that the College Board can get a hold of you because the day or the couple of days before the test, you're going to get a ticket, essentially an electronic ticket, and that's what gets you into the test. So if they can't reach you, they can't give you that ticket. Um, YouTube, those videos that I posted on YouTube or the link to the videos, those are going to shift probably this week from teaching material that's not going to be on the test to reviewing material that is going to be on the test. And it's going to be simulations of the test questions. Those videos supposedly are coming out on a daily basis. I haven't looked since the first day, I'll admit it. Um, you need to be watching those. So you need to set aside the time to watch those videos. No drawing, no graphing, um, everything's going to be typed, nothing that you can Google, nothing that you could ask a friend. It's going to be all application based. If you are in the middle of your test and something goes wrong, your little brother comes streaking through and distracts you and you lose time or your browser shuts down or your computer dies, there's going to be a way that you can petition to make up the test on the makeup day. So go in knowing that technology or distractions or you get so upset that you throw up on your computer, they are going to allow makeups if this happens. They understand that there's gonna be unforeseen stuff that happens in the course of some kids that are taking it. Um, that being said, do everything you can to make your test environment distraction free. So like on the day of the tests, I'm going to be taking all of my kids who aren't testing and my dogs and we're going to get out of the house even if it means going somewhere and driving around the block in my car 8 million times with my dogs for the 45 minutes. But try and make your test environment as conducive as possible. And if you need me to write your parents an email about that, I'd be happy to do that for you. Um, don't show up late. So when we get the instructions more on the 28th, they're going to tell you how early to sign up. But the moral of the story is don't show up late because as soon as the first question goes live, the clock starts ticking. And if you show up 10 minutes after that first question's gone live, you can do it, but now you get 10 minutes less. So make sure that you're on time. When you get into the waiting room, there's gonna be some questions, security questions that you're gonna have to answer to pretty much verify that it's you. And then around one o'clock, the first question will appear. Now they said probably not exactly at one, so don't panic if it's like 102, 103, but around one o'clock the first question will appear. At that point a clock will start ticking down on your computer and it's a 30 minute clock down or countdown clock. 
after 25, that clock will go red. During that red time, you have to upload. Now they know that we all don't have the best Wi-Fi. As long as you have started your upload in that five minutes, it will continue uploading in the background and allow you to move on with the second question. And just like at the end, at the end of the 15 minutes, as long as you start that upload in the five minute buffer window for uploading, it will continue to upload in the background. You just can't start your upload after that red clock, that 30 minutes or that 15, 25 minutes, 20 minutes has gone away. So when the clock hits zero, it better have been uploaded. They're not gonna give makeups because you didn't submit on time. That being said, they know that the questions that they've written probably can't be answered by everyone in 25 minutes or 15 minutes. They know that these questions are long questions. They're using that as a way to cipher from the top fives to a four, to a three, to a two, to a one. Don't think like, oh my gosh, I'm not done. I'm gonna try and use some of this red time to answer the question. Once that counter goes red, you need to upload. Um, just think, bud, they said, um, don't worry if you didn't get it all the way written, if you didn't get all your thoughts out, it doesn't mean that you're not gonna score well. It just means that they've kind of built in this kind of way of knowing the super geniuses from us normal folk. Um, yeah, that's all I got for you right now. Please make sure that you're reviewing every day. So I know my days are Thursdays, but take 10, 15, 20 minutes a day and touch this material because if you don't touch the material, you're not going to do well. Please show up for my office hours. Take those review questions that you have like concerns about and come to my office hours and ask me and just know that you guys know the information. I have complete faith that you all have this and that you're going to do well. So take a deep breath. You've got it. And the knowledge is in there. I'll see you next time I get an update. Bye.